Welcome back to Who Chose. Now, I know not everyone's as lucky as me and has, you know, unlimited land to just build whatever they want on. Some people may be living in apartments that they rent or even housing estates where, you know, you can't just go and do whatever you want in the land you've got available. So for those who don't want to have a grow room in an inspection of their house, this is the answer. This is a stealth wardrobe grow room. So what we'll be using today are two grill vents with uh, mosquito wire over them, uh, some 19 millimeter tubing and elbow pieces. I'll also be using some 13 millimeter tubing and elbow pieces, uh, hole saws to match the sizes of the holes you'll be drilling today, uh, some aluminum venting and a fan. Uh, I'll also be using some duct tape to join all of the venting together. You'll also need a grow light. So Mars Hydro has supplied me with this grow light to do some indoor grows with, and I'll be using this grow light in this system in future videos. You'll also need a reservoir to fit the drawer underneath the wardrobe that you've got. With this wardrobe, I actually uh, modified the bottom two drawers to become one drawer with a double facing and it's just connected on the back with some wood that I saved from the actual wardrobe build itself. You'll also need a wardrobe. Let's get to building the wardrobe. I never thought I'd do a hoochos on building flat pack furniture where anyone would watch, but here you are. This is a two door, two drawer wardrobe. You can get these at any hardware store or Ikea and they're relatively cheap. So for the hydroponic flood and drain bed at the bottom of this build, I'll be using this. This is a compact flood and drain grow bed that I created in this video. Now I'll include eBay affiliate links for all the products that I used in this video to build both the flood and drain bed and the stealth wardrobe build. So first things first, we're going to cut holes for the vents and the flood and drain inlet and outlet in the side and the base of the wardrobe. So I've drilled a hole in the top for the exhaust, a hole in the grow room for the inlet and a hole at the top of the grow room for the internal exhaust. And now I'm just gonna drill a hole at the back of the top for a power cord, as well as a hole in the drawer system at the back for another power cord for both the pump and the fan. I'll also put a little hole in here to fit the power cord going from the light. So now I'm gonna mark out and cut a hole where my drain pipes fall down through the bottom of the wardrobe section. I'm gonna use a jigsaw for this one because the hole saws that I've got are the worst. I'm definitely not a carpenter. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> so now it's time to install the vents. Hey!
I'm sorry, but flat pack furniture and reversible vents are the reason I drink. All right, now we can connect up the ducting. So take the length of ducting that you need, cut it off, and we'll duct tape it into the two holes that you've made and connect the fan in the center of it. Now, just to start with today, I'm gonna to run the ballast in the top compartment, but I'd actually recommend having it, if you don't have this vented, in with the grow light so it gets vented out with all the hot air. Um, I'm gonna tinker around to see if this gets too hot while the light's running. Otherwise, I may just leave it up in here, um, as long as it doesn't present any fire hazard. So I'm gonna run the electrical for the light down through the hole that I've made and into the grow room. And I'll run the power for the light out the back through the power hole. So the way that I'll be setting up the pipes underneath the grow bed is I've got them on elbows like this so that when the drawer is slid in and out, the pipes can rotate with the movement of the drawer and the reservoir uh, doesn't get caught on the pipes coming down from the grow bed. Um, it does limit the height of your reservoir, but it's probably the easiest way um, to access the reservoir that's underneath. The other way that you could do this is by just removing the drawer completely and having a facade front that just flips down. And I might end up doing that uh, purely because it gives you more space underneath for a larger reservoir. So now we can hang up the light and plug it all in and see how it goes. All right, the reservoir's full, the pump's in place, the fan's in, the light's in, and it's all plugged in, ready to go. Let's power it on. <laughs> yep. It's a grow room. Oh, <laughs> new beer. So some of the benefits of this grow room, the white walls are actually almost as reflective as the reflective material you get in uh, professional grow rooms. Uh, matte white is actually one of the most reflective colors. Feel free to argue this in the comments. Uh, also, the fan pulling air out causes what is known as negative pressure. And this drags air from the lower vent through the grow room and up. And any hot air that is made by the grow light actually gets sucked out as it rises. So you're continually refreshing the air in this small space. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hoochos. Like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time on Hoochos.